Hey, what's up guys, don't click away. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how we replaced a front glass screen on a broken Samsung Galaxy S20. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Javi Guzman with MrPhoneDoctor.com and thank you guys once again for checking out this episode. If this is your first time here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and smack the bell so you're notified on our latest videos. And while you're at it, please make sure to check out our social media platforms found below. If you guys have any questions or need a repair, please make sure to reach us at www.MrPhoneDoctor.com or by simply emailing repairs at mrphonedoctor.com. It's actually been a while since I've done a repair related video, so I'm really eager and excited to get into the Samsung Galaxy S20. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be repairing a cracked front screen on a Samsung Galaxy S20. You can see how this device is cracked all along here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this AMOLED display from the frame cut the glass and then laminate it in our laminating station. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the process that we do. And just keep in mind guys, this video is not a DIY. You know, we don't recommend that you guys try this at home, so please do not try this at home. It's gonna to lead to a lot more damage and incur a higher cost on this repair. If you guys are really interested in learning how to do this, please make sure you check out my Podia courses on podia.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and first begin by testing our S20 display. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into the tester that we made. If you guys are interested in how we make our testers, I'll leave a link above so you guys could check out that video on how we made this tester device. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and test everything, make sure it's working fully. And for that, we have an app that we downloaded. You can see how everything here is fully operating. Touch and everything is running smooth. There is no blemishes or anything at all like that on the display, so that's the good news for us. And let me go ahead and show you guys our white background here so you can see that there's no blems or anything at all. See that? It's fully perfect A-grade display. All right, let's go ahead and uh, power down, and we're gonna go in and wanna get this up to temperature. All right, so if you've seen our videos before, we like to make sure our display gets up to temperature. I've had the phone on here for about three to five minutes now, so it should be good to go. It feels nice and warm to touch. So I am going to begin by removing the AMOLED display from the mid-frame chassis. And of course, we always wanna have safety goggles and gloves, cause this guy gets hot. And let's dig in. So the hardest part has been done. We have removed the middle frame from the AMOLED display. So I'm gonna go in and wanna let this cool down, let it get to room temperature. Once it's cool, we can go ahead and test it 
make sure everything's fully working and we'll move on over to the next step. All right, we went ahead and taped up the glass. You can see how I put one strip here, keep everything all together. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and begin from right here on these corners. So we'll set this in here like so. Rotate the table, lock it down, and let's begin slicing and dicing. she is. Look how beautiful she came out. You can see everything is, most of the glue is removed. We have a little bit of glue up on top here, which is no problem. We'll go ahead and use our special little rotary tool to remove that glue and we'll give it a nice little cleaning. There she is. We've experimented with a few of these and we've noticed that the polarizer is actually a lot thinner. So you have to be very, very careful and gentle with these. Any wrong move or anything like that, you'll end up clipping the polarizer. So you have to be very, very gentle during the wire cutting process. Good thing is we have many years of training and experience on these, so we're up to speed on how to handle these devices. Let's go ahead and test it. Once we confirm a good successful test, we'll move forward and begin removing the Oka. And there she is. You can see how she's working beautifully. Hope you guys can see the touch on here. Hope you're not getting a glare, but it is working properly. All right, so let's move forward. Let's begin cleaning, and then we'll go to the laminating station. All right, so the display is nice and warm. I can go to begin by removing the glue with our little rotary tool here. All right, so the AMOLED display is fully clean. We went ahead and gave it a nice detail. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a test, make sure everything is working properly. But first, I'm just going to wipe down the edges, make sure there's no more residue of this OCA left on it. So she looks nice and clean, take a look. I'm going to plug it into the tester. Gotta make sure you handle these properly. One small wrong move and game over. She's in. Look how beautiful she looks. No glass. Touch and everything's working properly. So now our next final step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to our next room and we're gonna go ahead and laminate the glass onto the display. There's actually two steps. We gotta first put the OCA layer onto the glass. After that, we'll autoclave it for about 13 minutes. Once we autoclave it, we're going to remove it and then we'll laminate the OLED onto the glass OCA. So let's go ahead and step over next door and we'll get the sucker laminated. All right guys, welcome back to the laminating station. In this next step, we're gonna go and laminate our OCA to glass. Once this is pressed, we'll go ahead and laminate the glass to the AMOLED display. Now I'm really, really excited to run these new molds that we just got. We've been using these and they are actually very, very good. They save us a lot of time from fumbling mold to mold. We're actually able to use these for all the displays and for all the glass. So they're basically universal. So I have our glass here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and lay the glass onto here. Once we have that laid down, we can go ahead and use these little black stickers here, which attach the OCA onto it. And it's very simple. All you have to do is align this camera punch out with this punch out here. We'll set this in here. Make sure everything's aligned properly. Once it's aligned, we can just press down on the sticky and that's pretty much it. So you can see how it's nicely aligned here with the 
camera punch. Once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and use our regular mold, laminating mold here. Set this on, and we're gonna use this rubber one to grab the OCA. Then we press down, lift up, and we have a nice OCA fit. Just work out any bubbles that may show up. We'll go ahead and remove these black grommets. We don't need these. And I'm gonna remove the first layer from the glass and I'll go ahead and reveal the OC8 adhesive. Set this in our laminating machine. And let's go ahead and laminate. So with this, this can take about three minutes. I'll let this laminate and squash and then I'll show you guys the finish alignment from on the glass and OC8. All right, the laminating has finished. Let's go ahead and reveal our OC8 glass lamination. We're gonna have to pry this open. The vacuum there actually sucks this sucker onto it there we go so let me show you guys the finished lamination which is perfect that's what i love about these molds is you get a really precise accurate finish all the time you don't ever have to worry about this being misaligned or anything like that but you can see here that everything is aligned properly oca is aligned right in the middle of the punch out and there is a few little bubbles down here you can see uh, a few small little bubbles what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, we'll set this in an autoclave for 13 minutes. Once that's done, we'll be ready to laminate the AMOLED display onto the glass. All right, the autoclave process has finished. Let's go ahead and reveal the glass and OCA. And everything looks perfect. Perfect, perfect. There are no bubbles. So we can go ahead and move forward and we'll laminate the AMOLED display onto the glass here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in here, and we're going to get our universal mold right on top of there. And this, we gotta make sure everything's nice and clean, so. All right, she looks clean. We can go ahead and reveal the OCA layer. Now this next step, you gotta be very, very careful because we're gonna manually align that OLED onto the, on the glass. So you have to have a steady, steady hand. She's perfect, see that? And we'll set this in at the proper time and temperature. So we'll let this laminate. I'm gonna cut right here and we'll continue on as soon as it finished squashing. All right, the laminating process has finished. That's gonna reveal. Ooh, she came out beautiful. Let me show you guys the finished product laminating. You can see it's almost near perfect. There's a few little bubbles down on here, but other than that, that's it. We'll go ahead and cook these out. But first, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and test it, make sure that everything's fully working. Everything's working properly. So let's go ahead and set this in the autoclave for another 13 minutes, and then we'll do a final reveal. All right, the autoclave has finished. Let's go ahead and reveal the finished product. Ooh, and she's so beautiful. Take a look at that. Look how pretty she came out. No bubbles whatsoever. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and give it a test. Make sure everything's fully working. All right, there she is, look at that. Look how beautiful she came out touch and everything is fully responsive. And we do like to cure these in the UV light for three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it in our little UV light that we have on, on top here. Now this UV light, it just likes to cure the Oka so that way we don't have any bubbles reappear. We find that it works a lot better than not using it at all. So we'll put this in here and that's gonna be it. That pretty much wraps up our video guys. Um, after that's done, we'll be able to install it on our customer's device. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up this episode. Thank you guys for checking this out. Um, stay on the lookout. We're gonna be coming out with some other repair videos, S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra. And make sure you guys do subscribe. We're actually gonna be having a giveaway coming up here once we hit 10,000 subscribers. It's gonna run at the end of the month. I'll leave a link up on top here so you guys can see exactly how to enter this drawing. We're gonna be giving away a Galaxy S9, a gimbal, and a screen repair. That pretty much wraps it up. Thanks again, cheers.